Question number four, do I have one or two ideas or suggestions how owners, supervisors, specialty contractors can succeed in their business? Well, the first thing is the understanding that most of what you do every day and what I do every day is waste. Our processes are clunky. The things we do every day are riddled with waste, inefficiency. And once you come to grips with the idea that most of what you do and I do every day is waste, then only at that point will you start to see the waste and start eliminating. So number one, you must understand that you're very inefficient. Be honest with yourself. Number two, then begin the journey of continuous improvement. You personally, as the leader, needs to begin the journey. You need to improve your processes, not going to your workshop, not going to your construction site and say, hey, you guys got to do lean. Uh-uh, you got to do lean. When you start doing lean and you start experiencing the joy and the satisfaction of doing lean in your processes, then you'll be able to speak with authority to the people you work with and the people you work alongside. So it's very important that you first become proficient. The second thing I would say is set a seemingly impossible target. So what I mean by that is I'm going to give a couple examples here. Uh, the Japanese set a seemingly impossible target to develop the Shinkansen high-speed train system in 1984 for the Olympics that were in Japan. And they wanted to go like from Tokyo to Osaka, like in three hours. It was seemingly impossible. First of all, nobody had developed a train system at that point and that went fast, the high speed train system. And first of all, they had all these difficulties, uh, bad weather, you know, earthquakes or, you know, tectonic in nature. And they had to overcome a lot of difficulties. They only had like three or four years to do it. But they set this target and everybody came together, pulling together and they achieve that objective. So I think most people's targets and organizations are always based on monetary outcomes, which is a total joke. It's the wrong uh, return on investment. It's the wrong, it's the wrong qualifier. You want it to be something lofty and amazing. So Kennedy said, we want to put someone on the moon. This is a seemingly impossible target. This is the kind of vision or target that instills a passion in people to achieve something where people can come together. Money, I mean, come on. Uh, it's, it's not what motivates people. People think it does, but it doesn't. So a seemingly impossible target. And the last one, you know, I think of Winston Churchill, you know, when he was uh, faced with the threat of Nazis uh, invading England, he said, we will fight in the sea. We will fight on the land. We will fight in the hills. We will fight in the fields. We will fight in the cities, but we will never surrender. This idea of having this seemingly impossible target that brings everyone together, you need that. For me, at my company, it's VASCAP is striving to be the best lean organization in the world. And if we can do that, we can change the world. Already, indeed, thousands of people have come to our company, thousands of people have read my book, hundreds of thousands of people have read my book, and are changing their organization based on simple principles and concepts. So what we want to do is make a ding in the universe. We want to make an impact. We want to be significant in our community, our society, and the world. And we do that by setting seemingly impossible targets, like becoming the best lean organization in the world. So there you go. Those are the things that I would do if I was a leader in a construction company and I would have a lot of fun doing it. So thanks a lot. Hopefully all this has helped you.